tapered base. Already has that arm sticking up. Already has that upper region. He looks like he might be kind of coming down to the end here. Crispy Co. coming in with an answer here. 7-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. That is not correct. That is not Ooh. correct. So that's going to be one incorrect answer from Crispy Co. Possibly opening the door for Ex Machina to come through and lock up the, the win and move on to the round of eight. Today, put a two in the chat. Let us know. We'll do the big reveal after this match. Mm. All right. You know the answer, though, right, Victor K? I do know the answer. Okay. All right. We're going to find out. All right. Here we go. A lot of people are saying they think he woke up early. Some people are saying, one, he was still up from the night before. That's what I think. One. He's a Vicky Chong says he told us. Okay, maybe there's a spoiler. <laughs> David thinks he's still up from the night before. That's what I think too. Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. Crispy Crispy Co is falling asleep in the chat. Z Z Z Z in the chat. He wants to get into this here. So let's go. Let's do this. Don't forget, you guys want to play along with. You can take a screen capture as well. But this next CAD battle between Greece and Australia, Alibre and Solid Works begins in three, two, one. Go! What is the mass of this part in XXX grams? The tolerance for this one is plus or minus one gram. So good luck no to our symmetry. runners. No symmetry in this one. They're both grabbing, grabbing that print. They're both coming up with the design strategy. I'm going to flip over and let these guys do it. Plain carbon steel, millimeters. Let's see what they come up with here. So kind of an interesting part. You may notice this one has what we call an anti-Ivan exploit along the base. Uh, the base mm -hmm. is is drafted, is tapered, which means you can't just put those holes anywhere. You got to put them in the right spot. You can almost not put those holes anywhere. Eric Beatty in the chat, old friend of the show, Hello. says no Ivan exploits usable on this one. He, <laughs> that's what he noticed right away. That's the first time we see him <laughs> chat the whole live stream. <laughs> that's what he says. No Ivan exploits in this one. Good. Thumbs up. I mean, it is only drafted in one direction, so. True. You can, you have a little bit of leeway for yep. a whole position. Yep. <laughs> oh, nice. True, 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 true. Yeah. Eric Beatty says, hi, gang. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining us, my friend. All right. Aaron C says, remember, under the hood, it's all surfacing. So we see on the left, <laughs> Ex Machina starting out with the base extruded with that draft on it, and now... Uh, he may end up doing kind of what you were talking about, uh, maybe like a little bit of a... Oh, I thought he was going to do a subtractive. Looks like he's probably going to end up doing an extrude up to surface. And we see mm -hmm. Crispy Co. on the right taking more of a overall layout approach. I like this as well. I really like using uh, or doing what X Machina is doing, uh, using a slot tool just to make tombstone shapes instead of like line, tangent arc, line, and then closing it off. The slot tool ends up again. You're like that extra little bit with the arc on the inside of the part doesn't really, you know, change anything if you're doing a big block approach of manufacturing or like that subtractive approach. So it's really quick to just one tool and have four lines instead of having to jump back to the tangent. Yeah, it's a great point. It's definitely something that we've seen a lot in the speed running on the leaderboards here at Tutal Toby. Mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely something that I've picked up as well as a newer habit of saying, like, why am I doing line arc line when I could just do it as a slot? And then, boom, everything I need is right there. So definitely uh, something I've learned from watching some of our speedy runners. So Ex Machina looking down on this thing from the top, getting these holes in, but Crispy Co. already has that whole shape with the holes, and he's got a bunch of that layout geometry from that first sketch. Is that going to be enough for him to pull ahead in this model? I mean, these guys are truly neck and neck at this point. Yeah. Very even matchup. Yeah. Kind of a weird arm building up here off of this part. This is definitely some kind of a machined part that somebody in the prototype department just threw together. You know, they just <laughs> needed that extra arm to hold something in place. And they said, I could, I could make something like that for you. Probably like old angle iron that's welded together or something. Yeah. Yeah, I thought Crispy Co. was going to use a thin feature for a little bit, but looks like he found a reason that wouldn't work. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's uh, unfortunately, it's going to be tough to use thin feature for this one. 
And Ex Machina, we see he's using uh, he's using a Libre. So the color scheme in a Libre is a little yeah. different. That red doesn't necessarily mean that it's uh, you know that's necessarily over defined or over constrained or erroring. Uh, it's just different different color scheme that you can see down <laughs> in the lower corner here. If I move it looks the like part Aaron C says it looks like an intern part. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, this is one that we either give to the intern or we ask the intern to model. As a so I know in SolidWorks you can change the color scheme of uh, of all your lines and, and everything else. So I wonder if you can do the same thing in the Libre. Mm. Make that a little bit easier to decipher. But of course, yeah, if you're yeah. used to it, if he's been using the Libre as long as he has, yeah, yeah. Man. I know in SolidWorks there's a, there's a few things that I change the color of by default. Yeah. Well, Open we see Chris surface look edges. Crispy Co here already has that base, that tapered base, already has that arm sticking up, already has that upper region. He looks like he might be mm -hmm. kind of coming down to the end here. Crispy Co coming in with an answer here. 777. Seven, seven. That is not correct. That is not Ooh. correct. So that's going to be one incorrect answer from Crispy Co. Possibly opening the door for Ex Machina to come mm -hmm. through and lock up the, the win and move on to the round of eight. But it's not over yet. Crispy Co. can still answer a second time. His first answer was 777. That is not correct. It is not within tolerance. So we're going to see what what exactly is going on with Crispy Co. If he's got some underdefined geometry. Aaron C. noticed, said earlier, uh, ran into uh, some or noticed some underdefined geometry. Uh, we're going to see if see if maybe that's what the problem was. And we see Ex Machina still kind of just slow and steady, getting through this sketch. Sometimes you just got to go little by little to get everything constrained. Fully defined says not fully defined. Ha ha. He's, he's, he's typing Ooh, in the he's, chat while he's modeling. His name. He's, he's interacting and typing in the chat <laughs> while he's modeling. That's what we like to see. Oh, Eric's making some, uh, some <laughs> jokes that yeah. put him in danger of his own life. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just a, just a joke, everybody. Just a joke. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we see that Ex Machina was able to get through that arm and get it nice and fully constrained. So has, has Crispy Co. opened the door for Ex Machina? We will find out here in just a moment. You like that arm sticking up there? It's looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. That looks like a better sketch from Crispy Co. Okay, and Crispy Co. coming in with his second answer. And it looks Ooh. like that second answer is 751 grams. And that is correct. So congratulations Ooh. to Crispy Co. Wow, wow, wow. Congratulations, man. This is awesome, guys. We're going to a final match between these two Titans. How lucky are we? GG to the winner, GG to Crispy Co, and GG to both of our runners on that one. Man, that was exciting. Wow. Yeah, next month, next wow. Came in with a wrong answer right after that too, so this would have been would have been down to the last wire if Crispy Co didn't get it right either. Yeah, so X Machina did come in with an incorrect answer, you said? Yeah. So let's see here. 808.5. Yep. Nope. That was not within tolerance either. The correct answer was 751. He hit it. You know.